Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So in this video, chapter 4, we are going to discuss about chemical bonding. So uh, chemical bonding, okay, we have uh, four part, uh, five part, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4 4 and 4.5. So uh, in this video, we are going to discuss 4.1 Lewis structure. So another uh, four part is 4.2 molecular shape and polarity, hybridization and orbit, orbital overlap intermolecular force and metallic bond so we go into 4.1 Lewis structure so at the, um, at the end of this lesson students should be able to write the Lewis symbols for an atom state the octet rule and describe how an atom obtain uh, the octet configuration describe the formation of the following bond using Lewis symbol then Ionic or electrovalent bond, covalent bond, dative or coordinate bond, draw the Lewis structure of covalent species with a single, double, and triple bonds, and compare the bond length between single, double, and triple bonds. And we are going to explain the exception to the octet rule, which is uh, we have uh, incomplete octet, expanded octet, and odd electron molecules. So Introduction about 4.1. Okay, when atoms interact to form a chemical bond, it only only electrons in the outermost or valence shell are involved. They below they interact to form a ikatan kimia. Okay, hanya elektron di valence shell saja yang terlibat. Okay, so if for element in group one, it has an S1 configuration. So number of valence electron there is one. So for Group 2 is as NS2, number of valence electron is 2 valence electron. Group 3, 13 is NS2 and P1, number of valence electron 3. Okay, group 14, NS2 and P2, number of valence electron is 4. And group 15, NS2 and P3, number of valence electron is 5. Group 16, NS2 and P4, number of valence electron is 6. Okay, number of valence electron, group 16. And the last one is uh, group 17, NS2, and P5. Number of valence electron is 7. Okay. So, Lewis dot symbol. Eh? Sim, uh, symbol Tite Lewis. Eh? Alright. So, symbol in which dots ataupun crosses are, or crosses are used around the atomic symbol of an element representing its valence electron. Jadi dia mewakili bilangan valence electron. Okay, simbol uh, Lewis dot simbol ini. For example, we have electron configuration of oxygen. So oxygen is uh, 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Jadi valence electron for oxygen is 2s2 and 2p4. So number of valence electron for oxygen is 6, which is 2ns2, okay, 2s2, 2p4. So 2 plus 4 is 6 valence electron. Jadi kalau 6 valence electron, dia akan ada 6 titik. 1 electron, 1 titik. Okay? 1 electron, 1 dot. So if we have 6 valence electron, 6 dots around the oxygen symbol. So Lewis dot symbol. So this is O in the middle. So we draw 6 electron around the oxygen. O symbol. So this is the Lewis dot symbol for... Uh, certain element that we are always use in drawing a Lewis structure. Okay, kita akan gunakan. We have hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, group one. Okay, group two, beryllium, magnesium, calcium. Okay, uh, strontium and barium. Okay, kemudian proceed to group thirteen, group fourteen, group fifteen, group sixteen, group seventeen, and group eighteen. Okay, alright. So number of valence electron represent by dot. Okay. Right, so octet rule. Octet rule ataupun hukum octet states that atoms lose, gain or share electrons in order to have a fill valence shell of 8 electrons. Okay, dia menyatakan bahawa okay, atom hilang ataupun memperolehi atau berkongsi elektron untuk men, uh, to have a fill valence shell of 8 electron. Okay, untuk mempunyai valence shell yang terisi 8 elektron. So, atom can achieve noble gas or octet configuration through transfer of electron. 
Okay, pemindahan elektron, sharing of elektron. Okay, and then hydrogen and helium is excluded because it can hold a maximum two electrons or duplet in its valence shell. Okay, kalau hydrogen dan helium dia tidak termasuk. Okay, dia, dia tak boleh panggil octet. Dia kita panggil apa? Duplet because dia ada dua valence elektron. So, noble gas. Noble gas is group 18. Okay, kumpulan 18. Element exists as a monoatomic gas and not need to uh, bond to other atom as it is already stable. Sebab dia sudah stable. Dia dah 8 jadi tak perlu lagi terima ataupun transfer the electron. So, type of stability for of electron configuration. Okay, jenis-jenis kestabilan. So, electron in the valence orbitals can be removed or added to form cation and anion in order to have stable electronic configurations due to the following. First one, noble gas configuration. Okay, B, pseudo-noble gas configuration. C, stability of half-fill orbital. Okay, so ini adalah jenis-jenis stability into electron configuration. Okay, kita ada tiga jenis, three types of stability. So, the first one, noble gas configuration. Noble, group 1, group 2, and group 13 elements donate valence electrons to form cation with noble gas configuration. Okay, kumpulan 1, 2, 13, dia ter dermakan valence electron untuk menghasilkan cation yang mempunyai noble gas configuration. For example, sodium. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. So, one electron from 3s is transferred or donate. Okay, so that it will have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Which is noble gas configuration. Okay. So, group 15, 16 and 17 accept element. Sorry. Elements accept electron. Okay, group 15, 16 and 17 elements accept electron. Terima elektron to form anion with noble gas configuration. Kalau kumpulan 1, 2, 13 tadi, dia don donate the elektron. While group 16, 15, 16, 17, 15, 16 and 17. Okay, it will accept elektron. Dia terima elektron untuk menjadi noble gas configuration. So, the example is O8. Okay, O8 is 1S2, 2S2, 2P4. 2P4 untuk mencapai stability for noble gas configuration. Dia perlu tambah 2 elektron dekat 2P4. Jadi, 2P4 becomes 2P6. Okay. So, it has the charge of O2-. Okay. Sebab dia sudah jadi apa? Noble gas configuration. So, the valence electron configuration, dia jadi group NS2 and P6. Okay. The second one, no, pseudo-noble gas configuration. Pseudo is the term that we use. Okay term yang kita gunakan pseudo bermaksud uh, palsu eh? jadi dia nampak macam noble gas configuration so this element okay, electron configuration in which all their orbital are fully filled with electron okay, but not at any that not that of any of the noble gases okay? dia bukan noble gas uh, so Next, okay, the valence electron configuration is either NS2, NP6, ND10 or NS2, NP6, ND10, NF14. Jadi, dia adalah elemen di dalam block D. Okay, for block D element, okay, electrons from 4S electron orbital will be transferred first before the 3D electrons. Thus, for example, we have zinc. Zinc is 30. So, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2. So, bila dia jadi zinc 2 plus, meaning that it remove 2 electron from 4s orbital. So, bila remove electron from 4s orbital, it becomes 3p6, 3d10. Okay, 3d10 dia bukan noble gas, tapi dia pseudo noble. Kalau dia noble gas, dia mesti 18 valence electron. Okay, alright. So, the next one is uh, stability of half fill orbital. Okay, kestabilan uh, half fill uh, half fill separuh penuh kita eh? orbital separuh penuh so element block D can also donate electrons to achieve half fill orbital which is stable 
for example mg mn 25 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 3d5 and 4s2 jadi bila dia jadi mn2 plus mn2 plus meaning that it remove two electron so where does the electron remove from 4s2 jadi kat sini kita ada apa 4s2 okay initially we have 4s2 so when we remove 4s2 it becomes 3d5 so this one is uh, more stable okay yang dipanggil half fill okay half fill orbital next types of chemical bonding okay kita tengok jenis-jenis ikatan kimia so the first one okay we have ionic bond second one is covalent bond the third one is dative bond okay dative bond okay covalent bond and ionic bond what is all these three types of chemical bond okay let us proceed ionic bond ionic bond occur between the electrostatic attraction okay of two opposite, oppositely charged ions in an ionic compound jadi elektrostatik daya elektrostatik okey dia antara two oppositely charged dua okey ion yang mempunyai charge yang berlawanan jadi kita panggil ionic compound so it also it also call electrovalent bond okey apart from ionic ada juga some of the book they use the term electrovalent bond eh? so the example is NaCl where Na one dot Cl 7 dot sebab Na is group 1 Cl is group 17 so it has 7 valence electrons ok and then the electron transferred to chlorine it becomes Na plus Cl minus ok uh, jadi kat sini kita we just put a big bracket here ok big square bracket to indicate that this is an ion Okay, dia merupakan ion, uh, ion lah di sini, kat ion eh. Positive charge, negative charge. So, magnesium chloride. So, magnesium chloride, Mg, 2 electron balance. Transferred to Cl. Okay, Cl, 7 balance electron. So, Each electron from uh, each chlorine atom accept one valence electron from one magnesium. Magnesium ada dua valence electron. So, satu bagi kepada first chlorine, the second one is given to the next chlorine. So, kita akan dapat Mg. Okay. Mg, this one is Mg2 plus and 2Cl minus. Okay. Because this one, they lost two electron and then this one they accept one electron two electron okay next is covalent bond okay covalent bond is formed by sharing one or more pairs of valence electrons between the bonded atom okay the antara atom yang berikatan so covalent bond cuma berlaku untuk non metal atoms involved eh? and then the example is ACL Okay, hydrogen have one valence electron, chlorine has seven valence electron. So, combination of these two will produce covalent bond. Okay, H single bond, Cl. Alright, so, this is the covalent bond, okay, where the lone pair electron is drawn for Cl. Hydrogen, no more lone pair. Okay, so ini kita panggil lone pair. Then, yang ikatan itu dipanggil bonding pair electrons. Right, so type of covalent bond, kita ada single bond, double bond, and triple bond. So, single bond is a covalent bond form when two atoms share a pair of electron. Okay, dua atom berkongsi satu pasang electron. So, one pair electrons is represented by dash, one dash between these two atoms. A single bond is made up of a sigma bond. Okay. Jadi kalau kita ada C, contoh lah, C, C. So, one single bond, this is a sigma bond. Okay. Next, we have covalent bond, which is formed when two atoms share two pairs of electron. Jadi, kalau dua pasang, ada empat elektron. 
it is represented by double dash between two atoms and the double bond is made up of sigma bond and a pi bonds okay uh, kalau dia ada double bond c double bond c 1 sigma 1 pi this one to be discussed later dalam chapter 4.2 okay and then triple bond triple bond is a covalent bond formed when two atoms share three pairs of electron the kalau tiga pair electron dikongsi it represent by triple dash between two atoms and a triple bond is made up of one sigma bond and two pi bonds okay bond length okay kepanjangan ikatan so bond length is defined as the distance between the nuclei of two covalently bonded atoms in a molecule which is central ataupun nucleus okay the distance between these two atom the, di dalam molecule figure okay this figure shows the bond length in hydrogen and hydrogen iodide ini hydrogen iodide tu dia lebih panjang because iodine is a bigger bigger atom than hydrogen so, h2 is 74 picometer for HI is 161 picometer, which is slightly longer daripada H2. Multiple bonds are shorter than single bonds. Okay. Jadi, semakin banyak bond, semakin pendek sesuatu ikatan itu. Jadi, single bond, okay. Single bond lebih panjang lah daripada multiple bond. Bond length decreases in the order. Single is greater than double and double is greater than triple comparison of bond length so bond type we have ch okay bond length the 107 c double bond h uh, sorry h double bond eh? h tak ada double bond okay o and h is 96 jadi kalau you tengok dekat sini semakin banyak bonding itu so this one we compare between c single bond o okay so this one c single bond o 143 panjang C double bond O 122 C triple bond O 113 jadi semakin banyak double bond itu semakin pendek ok alright so C single bond C 154 C double bond C 133 C triple bond C 120 ok and so on false ok so boleh tengok dekat bawah ni lah all the value given ok this one triple bond C triple bond C C, triple bond N, and triple bond O. Next, dative or coordinate bond. It is formed when only one atom can provide both electrons of shared pairs. Jadi selalunya bila dia berkongsi, okay, macam ACL, hydrogen bagi satu, klorin satu, and contribute one electron, then it form double bond. Uh, sorry, single bond. Okay, chemical bonding. So, tapi sekarang ni, bila dia buat bondi, both electron is provide by only one atom. Satu atom je yang provide. Satu lagi duduk diam-diam sebab dia tak ada electron. Okay. Right. So, for example, we have H2O and H+. Jadi, H2O ada dua lone pair. Okay. H+, has no valence electron. Ion, hydrogen. So, one, okay, both electron daripada oxygen will be transferred pergi H. Dia akan jadi sing uh, aero eh. aero tu menunjukkan dia adalah dative do further study for other compound with the presence of dative bond in structures such as NH4+, Al2Cl6 okay. this one is quite interesting okay. NH4+, dan juga Al2Cl6 okay. so do your revision okay. revise dan study tentang NH4+, dan juga Al2Cl6 ok now we learn on how to draw a Lewis structures. Okay, kita belajar untuk melukis Lewis structure. The first step is count total number of valence electron and add one for each negative charge, subtract one for each positive charge. Draw a skeletal structure. Central atom is the least electronegative element. Okay, terminal atom is more electronegative element. Complete an octet for all terminal atoms except hydrogen. Jadi hydrogen tadi, dia tak boleh octet because dia ada dua. Jadi dia duplet. Eh? 
octet terminal first then center atom place any remaining electrons on the central atom and step 5 if the central atom does not have an octet double or triple bonds by using the lone pair of electrons from the terminal atoms okay kita tengok example 1 draw the Lewis structure for nf3 molecule first step kira bilangan valence electron nitrogen group 15 so 5 valence electron and fluorine group 17 7 valence electron 7 times 3 is 21 so 21 plus 21 plus 5 26 okay so 26 electron okay step number 2 nitrogen as a central atom yang paling kurang elektron negatif di tengah-tengah okay and 3 F eh? 3 F okay so NF3 okay NF3 okay kita akan tolak 6 elektron jadi 26 tolak 6 ada 20 elektron yang ekstra jadi 20 elektron ekstra kita letak 2 lone pair 2, 4, 6 246, 246. So, we have another 2. Okay, minus 2. So, this is a lone pair dekat nitrogen. Okay. Jadi, Lewis structure. Okay, the Lewis structure. Dia akan jadi. Okay, CO NF3. Okay, it becomes NF3. Okay. So, this one is the Lewis structure to NF3. Next, kita tengok CO3 to minus. Okay, CO3 to minus, number of valence electron, carbon 4, oxygen 3 times 6, 18. Okay, negative ada 2, jadi tambah 2 elektron, dia akan dapat 24 elektron total. So, carbon as a central atom, 2, 4, 6 bonding. So, tolak 6 elektron, jadi tinggal 18. Okay, and then, Place another 2, 4, 6. 6 elektron pada setiap oksigen. 2, 4, 6. Okay, tapi carbon tidak. Octet. Okay, cukup kan? Tapi carbon tidak octet. So, this cannot happen. Jadi, kita letakkan double bond dekat carbon. 2, 4, 6, 8. Then, barulah carbon ini menjadi octet. Jadi, bila carbon tak octet, Okay, 2468, 2468, 2468. Okay, uh, so lengkaplah kita punya Lewis structure untuk carbon, carbonate. Eh? CO3, 2 minus. This is the Lewis structure for carbonate. So, example 3, draw the Lewis structure for NH4 plus molecule. The number of valence electron, kita ada 5. Okay, nitrogen ada 5, 4 hydrogen, 5 tambah 4, 9. Ada satu charge positif, jadi minus 1 elektron ditinggal 8. Jadi nitrogen, hidrogen, 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 single, 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 tolak 8. Okay, so 8 tolak 8 kosong. Okay, jadi tak ada level charge yang uh, perbilangan elektron berlebihan. Jadi kita ada NH4 plus. Okay, alright. So far, I hope you can follow our discussion. Okay, so the next one is SF4. SF4 is 6 electron valence for sulfur. 4 times 7 is 28. 28 plus 6, 34 electrons. So, SFF. Okay, then minus 8. 26, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6. 6 times 4, 24. But then, the last fluorine tak cukup electron. Okay, the last fluorine doesn't have penis, uh, cukup eh, enough electron. Uh, jadi, 2, 4, 6. Alright. Octet ke tidak? Tak octet kan? Okay, so this one to be discussed later. Nanti kita tengok eh, how to discuss this. 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6. 6 times 4, 24, 28, 30, 32, 34. Suppose these two electron berada di sini lah. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, next. Example 5. Draw the Lewis structure for IF2 minus. IF2 minus, iodine 7, 2 fluorine 14, negative charge, jadi kita ada 22 elektron, 22 tolak 4, bonding. So, kita ada 18. Okay. So, place 18 elektron di sekeliling atom. 6, 12. So, minus 12, ada lagi 6. So, 2, 4, 6 pada iodine. Okay. Placekan 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, this iodine ada 8. 10 elektron. Okay. Alright, so yang tidak memenuhi hukum octet tadi, contoh macam iodine tu, itu adalah expanded octet. Okay, octet yang terkembang. So, a certain atoms such as beryllium, boron and aluminium cannot achieve octet configuration because it have less less than 8 electrons. Dia kurang daripada 8 elektron. Kenapa kurang? Uh, sebab this is only occur untuk Element, elements in group 2 groups 2 and group 13 period dia pun cuma untuk period 2 and period 3 this is because it has less metallic character and it don't do uh, do not uh, donate electron to be share electron for example of is boron trifluoride ok next one is expanded element from period 3 onwards may have more than 8 valence electron in their compounds ok Kumpulan period ketiga. Period 1, period 2, period 3. Jadi, period 3 ni yang ada expanded octet. Ini sebab apa? This is due to the existence of MTD orbitals that can be used in bonding. Central atom may have only 10 or even 12 valence electrons. Okay? Uh, dia mungkin ada 10 ataupun 12. Di sepatutnya 8 kan? 8 is complete octet. Kalau 10 ataupun 12 electrons, kita panggil expanded. Okay, octet terkembang. And then, odd number electron. Okay, odd number electron molecules. This is due to the presence of odd number of electrons around the central atoms. Mungkin ada 3, 5 ataupun 7 electrons. Okay, right. So, the example is NO. Okay, incomplete octet. Okay, the example of incomplete octet untuk BF3. Number of valence electron, boron 3. Okay, fluorine. 21 total dia ada 24 electrons. Jadi boron 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 single 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 jadi tolak 6 tinggal 18. Jadi 18 distribute kepada setiap atom fluorin. 6 kali 3 18 tambah 6 24. Jadi cukuplah. Okey. Right. Jadi tapi boron ini dia tak ada 8. Tengok dia kira berapa ni? 2, 4, 6. Ada 6 elektron je. Which is, kita panggil dia incomplete octet. Okay? Octet tidak lengkap. Okay. Expanded octet. Expanded octet adalah untuk FP, SCL5. Phosphorus, group 15, 5 valence electron. 5 chlorine, 7 times 5, 35. So, 14 elektron, the total. Di phosphorus, ada 5 chlorine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, each chlorine makes one single bond. So, 5 times 2, tolak 10. Okay, minus 10 electron. So, we have, ada lagi berapa? 40 minus 10, 30. Ha, banyak ni. So, 30 ni, kita distribute 6 pada setiap chlorine atom. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Okay, so cukuplah octet untuk chlorine. Tapi, phosphorus ni expanded. Sebab apa expanded? Dia 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. 10 dipanggil apa? Expanded octet. Eh? Octet terkembang. So, this is the Lewis structure. PCL5 is stable with 10 electron in valence shell surrounding its central atom P. Okay. Right. So, the last one is odd number electron. Draw the Lewis structure for NO2 molecule. Number of valence electron, 5 tambah 2 kali 6, 12, 17 elektron. So, kita lukiskan single bond. 
Okay, empat elektron and single bond O, single bond O. So, 17 minus 4 is 13. Ha, 13 ni macam mana? 2, 4, 6. So, kita letak satu dot. Kan? Kita letak satu titik kat tengah-tengah tu. 2, 4, 5. Jadi, nitrogen tu dia ada berapa? 5 elektron. Okay? Dia tak outtack. Jadi, kita cuba kita ambil. Tak boleh, ya. Eh? Kita ambil dua elektron daripada salah satu oksigen. Ini kita letak dekat tengah-tengah. 2, 4, 6, 8. Oksigen octet. 2, 4, 6, 7. Jadi, yang ini you tengok, eh. Kamu tengok ni. Yang ini dia ada tujuh ni. Okay. 2, 4, 6, 7. Jadi, yang ini tujuh elektron. Yang ini cukup lah. 2, 4, 6, 8. So, this one 8 elektron. This one 8 elektron. Yang ini 8 elektron juga. Okay, ni tak ada masalah. Yang salah masalah sekarang ni lah di tengah-tengah. Jadi, bila ada terlebih satu, kita panggil dia apa? Odd number electron. Okay? Alright. So, end of part 4.1 from our lecture. Okay, that's all for class today. Thank you.